Hello everybody, today we are talking about this beautiful sunlight and vitamin D in sweet, sweet TNT. This is Dr. C coming to you with Silver Lining and I'm here in Trinidad and Tobago and it's actually very beautiful outside. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like over here. All right, so it's a beautiful sunny day and I don't know about you guys but I pretty much love soaking in as much sun as possible and some people might notice that when it's maybe Grand Prix weekend or Carnival or what is it crop over July 4th weekend Canada Day July 1st weekend you feel a lot better and it could be just the memories the seeing your family it could be the actual activity that is fun I am a firm believer that vitamin D has to do with a lot of that excitement energy that good feeling that you're having for instance I tend to be more tired in the winter, leave the house in the dark and come back home in the dark. I don't have as much energy, but when I come to places like Trinidad, all of those things seem to just kind of go away. I might be a little bit sluggish the first few days, but especially towards the end of my trip, just soaking in that sun, there's nothing like it. So um, today I wanted to talk about vitamin D and why I think it's important and why I think it contributes so much to my health. I actually have not taken vitamin D in a few days. The last time I took vitamin D is actually a few months ago and it takes a few weeks to really do anything in your system. So um, I noticed that my nails are actually a lot more brittle uh, whereas when I was taking my vitamin D for the first time in my life they actually were not brittle. Um, and like I said, my energy was a lot lower before coming in on vacation. And mind you, obviously, when we're on vacation, we're not working. So we have a little bit more energy as well. Vitamin D is one of the fat-soluble vitamins. Fat-soluble vitamins are vitamin A, E, and vitamin K. So what that means is that they absorb well when you take them in with fat. Now you might be a little bit confused because I mentioned vitamin D and sunlight. Vitamin D is attained through many things, but the sun makes the vitamin D more accessible to your bodies. So that's why um, when people talk about vitamin D, they talk about sun very often. Um, there are a lot of vitamin D fortified foods, but nothing beats getting vitamin D conversion through um, the sunlight. You see a lot stronger bone health when you take vitamin D as well as calcium. Um, helps It helps to build your bones. Uh, what else can I say about vitamin D? Some people feel less depressed. There are actually some associations with decreased risk for certain cancers with vitamin D as well. And there's a slew of them, so I actually won't get into the details of that. I really wish that most of us could check vitamin D, whether or not you have a symptom, because some people don't know how great they would feel until they actually take vitamin D. Who should be tested for vitamin D? If you have low energy, if you feel like you're getting a lot of arthritis or bone pain, if you might be depressed, I'm not sure if I said that already. Brittle nails like myself, difficulty with your energy levels despite you know checking all other tests and you may even want to consider if your insurance covers this to be one of the first tests that you check and that you replace the elderly definitely I would recommend checking a vitamin D level because the elderly are already at risk of getting their bones you know broken from a fall for a trip people who are on hormones certain medications you might notice that there's some bone loss associated with it so check the side effects of all your medications um, and consider taking vitamin D whether it's on maintenance dose or maybe checking to see if your level is um, is adequate uh, 
normal values. There's a whole different um, school of thought on where the no normal value should be. I would say ideally for myself, I would like my level to be around 50. And if it was 30 even, I, I would try to take a little extra vitamin D, of course, with the guidance of my primary care doctor. Some people actually need to have a catch-up dosing. So what that means is you take a certain amount of vitamin D for, let's say, two months. You could either take it weekly or you could take it daily at a smaller dose. If you take it regularly for two months and then check your level, and see that let's say is around 50 or whatever particular goal you and your doctor set then you can go back to a maintenance dose which is usually somewhere between 400 and 1000 IUs or units international units what some people might want to do and these things are available over the counter is do a higher dose in the winter or whatever time you notice that you're not getting much sunlight like for myself it would definitely be the winter where I would take something like 5,000 I use for myself um, and then in the summertime I might move on to a maintenance dose because I know that I'm getting more sunlight in the in the summertime a great thing to take vitamin D with if you're already taking fish oil that's a good time to take your vitamin D like I said it's fat soluble you want it to be absorbed with good oils good fats um yeah i think that's about all i wanted to share about vitamin d um put your comments below if you think that you might be trying vitamin d after listening to our talk today um let me know if there's any other questions i may not have answered please subscribe give it a thumbs up if you think this helped you out looking forward to your comments and questions signing out medically yours dr c